Liam, can you start to process what went wrong today? Uh, yeah, I can. I think we didn't start the game as well as we normally did, um, that's for sure, with 11 men. Uh, but once we got a foothold in the game and we had a couple of builds that, that put us back in the game a little bit and we got control of the game, I felt it was, a, it was an even contest. And yeah, it's a hard one to take because it's, yeah, when you watch it back, it's a disappointing red card to take. And that again changes the flow of the game, gives them energy and confidence they can go on and win the game. So yeah, a disappointing night. Uh, but overall, uh, we need to keep pushing forward and making sure that we don't let these bumps in the road affect the bigger picture. Can you understand why the referee gave I do. the red card? I understand why, but it's not a red card. Uh, I understand. I've watched it back. I've seen Darren's position. What happens is where he stood, it looks like uh, Tyler's gone over the ball, but the lad's actually to the side of him. So from a different angle, it's not a red card. It's not a red card. Let me put that on record. Um, but I do understand it's a difficult job for a referee. You've, you've got real-time decision to make. You've got to make that decision really quick. You don't have the luxury of VAR. Um, so I understand why he's given it, but it makes it really hard from our end because it completely affects the picture of the game and makes our job, when we've played four games now in 10 days, even harder uh, away from home. Was that the reason maybe for bringing Tufan and De Lap off? Was that to preserve them? Yeah, they've, put, they've gone through so much running and so much energy. And I think when you see Alia and Matty Jacob come on with their fresh energy and mentality, they give us something extra. And, You've got to be pragmatic at times, you know, you've got to be pragmatic. Ozan and Liam have run themselves into the ground. To ask them to go 60 minutes again with 10 men and cover the spaces is a big ask. And um, look, I've got to manage the squad in the right way. And if I do that, I think we've got a chance of a really successful season. What was the players' assessment given that result? What, 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 do you feel, what do you feel is the biggest feedback from them? The feedback from them is their frustration at the red card decision, which is their emotional. Um, but we will analyse it because there are things we can improve on, especially in our possession. There's a ball just come in, so I've just kicked <laughs> it away. Um, especially in terms of our possession, which we're normally much better in. Um, but yeah, it's, we wanted to come here and win. 4,000 fans have come. You know, I, it's devastating not to give them the, the result and the performance that they, that they deserve. But we have to understand that we're in a really strong position to kick on and hopefully still have a really good season. I'm not going to ask you, obviously, for what you think you, you'll play as your FA Cup game, but is this an opportunity to give maybe a Do little it, bit of rest? I'll be honest, Fletcher, I haven't even thought about it. It's been relentless. We've focused on game to game. Four games in ten days is hard enough for players and it's hard for us as coaches to analyse our position, try and pick the right team. Um, what we'll do is we're going to have a day off tomorrow and I'll focus on, on Birmingham in the next few days. Okay.